The Yes campaign is convinced victory is in its sights, so Quebec sovereigntists are already flocking to Scotland this week to learn from that success. There are some things that the Scottish National Party and the Yes campaign here are doing very well and that we have to be, uh, the sovereigntists have to be inspired by that. They're impressed with the Yes campaign's ability to appeal to a broad section of the electorate, including minority groups and a chunk of the business community. Under the slogan of Scotland's right, first minister I'm makes it clear he's studied Quebec's experience too. If I want to understand what the No campaign is doing, I merely have to look at what uh, the No campaign did in the, in the referendum, last referendum in Quebec. It was also a last-minute scramble to try to shore up the no vote in 1995, the many warnings of the economic perils of independence, and a plea from Prime Minister Jean Chrétien just days before the referendum. The decision that will be made is serious and irreversible. One echoed by British Prime Minister David Cameron this week. And we must be very clear. There is no going back from this. No rerun. In 1995, the No campaign won in Quebec with less than 51% of the vote. In Scotland, the Yes side believes it's learned the lessons of the past. Quebec sovereigntists taking notes say whatever the outcome, it will give their cause a boost. Any circumstances, will, it will have an impact on Quebec because they have been so far away. Uh, if they get 45, that would be impressive. If they win, that would be spectacular. The tactics that helped the no side win in Quebec in 1995 may well work again here tomorrow, but the polls suggest the outcome could be just as close. Ben O'Hara Burns, CTV News, Edinburgh.